Hello, good evening, everybody. Hey, hi. Ah, uh, okay. So tonight, this is um, what do you call this? This is a uh, twelfth of February in Singapore. It's ten thirty-seven. So I'm not very late today, which is uh, awesome. Like I'm always late, so I'm quite happy that today I was. Um, I'm okay. I'm not that late. Okay. So how's uh, everybody's evening? I hope everyone has got uh, uh, have had a great week. Right, good evening. So it's uh, evening in Singapore, and I'm sure it's uh, around the world is different timing. So this was what I've done last week uh, with our almost CM, CMYK palette, uh, which is uh, it's an ice kacang. So ice kacang is like ice plus beans, so it's, it's a dessert. And uh, I think I didn't do anything much after that. I think I did try la, to to put like a, like a, some um, color this rim of the bowl with uh, some um, what do you call that uh, acrylic. It's like a marker, white marker. Um, but that's that's all that I did. And then um, yeah, so this is uh, I don't know if you guys seen this one. Uh, the last time I did this one, so this is the Escoda watercolor. Book 200 GSM 60 acid free paper tra travel journal series. So, I don't know why I'm using a travel journal for this. Uh, it's because I actually am, um, you know, I like to do like um, try out different sketchbooks um, and then, you know, do a review at the end. So, I would, I think it's a good idea to. I have, have had this for a while, so I thought it would be good to actually. You know, to actually start using it because you know, you know, like paper, they have an expiry date, so you do not want the paper to, uh, you know, to get to grow to go bad. Like they they've gone bad on me before, so I thought you know why not let's just use it. So um yeah, but I as I as you realize the paper there is a slight warp, slight warp to the paper, so it's not as good as I um, have imagined it to be, even though it's Escoda, because Escoda makes brushes, they don't make paper. And this paper does kind of uh, feel like I'm using, when I use this paper, I feel like I'm using a moly skinny. Moly skin? Mole skin? <laughs> moly skinny. Mole skin. Um, yeah. Like the feel, the feel is there. Um, and the... Uh, the, it's very easy to to take out the, the 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 first layer. So if you're doing a lot of layering, you know, several layers upon layers, it's you you you're gonna feel very uh, you're gonna get a little bit frustrated. Yeah. So today, um, I wanna use yes, continue using the sketchbook, right? Because you know, I I don't, I don't know whether I should give up papers if I don't like it. Um, I I don't know because you know. This has a lot of, there's a lot of pages here. So if, if I were to give this up, it's going to like, kind of, I don't think I'll touch it. So I think I'll just push on and finish it. Okay. <laughs> so it has got uh, 60 pages. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and normally what I do this week, so you know, for our CMYK, uh, we, for our limited palette challenge, we always have like a few colors. So I've been doing this for the Friday sessions, uh, sorry, for, for the Sunday, Saturday session, which is the Saturday evenings at 10.30 p.m., uh, which is, you know, what the time that I start. Uh, I've been doing this since um, a long time, since I think July last year. So it's been uh, six months or so, eight months, and we have gone through many palettes, which is very cool. Um, I, I think I, I kind of enjoy, uh, you know, coming out or like, you know, um, coming out with the palettes together with people on my Discord. So, for some reason, I didn't include the Discord name. I don't think I am able to include the Discord name here. But um, yeah, I did mention last week that I was I will share my Discord server. But uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know how to share it. I like I don't really know the num like the link. So I I probably have to find out how to do it. Yeah, that's pathetic. I know. Yeah. So, uh, this week. This, uh, I would say it's not a week, it's like a, it, it actually is about a month um, when we explore the limited palette. So this palette, this, this, uh, the, the limited palette for, for today is the CMYK, which you have seen, like just now I've already shown you guys, okay? So this is the one over here, all right, it's the ice kacang. Right, so today I am going to paint, oh no, what happened to my manganese blue? Eh? Oops. 
Okay, I don't know. Like, this happened to the manganese blue. It kind of like melted and got stuck at the side. So, <laughs> later on, I'm just gonna take a bit of water to try to like, just like, release it from the side. I don't want to waste it because actually I bought this one um, from a Etsy seller. And then, um, I quite like it. So, you know, I really love... Uh, I, 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 it made me feel um, like it's a good buy because, yeah, it's manganese blue. Okay, um, so yeah, let's uh, let's look at what we are doing today. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. So I have a palette over here. I uh, recently found this small palette, so I'm gonna use it later. Okay, let's do it. So uh, let me just show you guys what I'm gonna do. Yeah, right. So I, you know, um, it's law Olympics right now, um, Beijing two zero two two, and uh, you know, Singapore being I'm in Singapore, so Singapore being a hot country with no four seasons, I have not seen snow at all. Right, and I've only seen snow when I go overseas for for, um, for travels, and 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 it's just an interesting, kind of interesting way to. Um, to 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 experience uh, the the city looking different, so having a Olympics twenty twenty two, which is uh, the Winter Olympics, this is kind of interesting because I they 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 all these sports that we don't get to do at all because we have no snow. So skating, skiing, what <laughs> I don't know, like all those things we don't do, I can't do. I have no no idea how that's all a curling, hockey, ice hockey, you know, those things we don't get to do at all. And it's just kind of fun to see like people uh, being so good at it and we know nuts about it. So, But anyway, everybody knows figure skating. So um, yeah, we have these um, wonderful athletes and then we, uh, we know who, who are they, you know. I mean, if you have been watching, um, if you've been watching the, the Olympics, you would actually know these people very well because um, two of them are like kind of, okay, uh, that's Nathan Chen, right? He, he won, he got the gold. And this is uh, Han Yu, Yu Zhu, I think it's Yu, Han Yu, Yu Zhu, Yu Zhu Ru? I, I'm not sure, I may pronounce his name wrongly. Um, yeah, he ha was the uh, champion last, the last, the last Olympics. And then we have, uh, I think it's Camille, Camellia. Um, she's kind of controversial right now because she's like um, being called out for, for drug, doping, doping. So I, I am not sure what's going on with her, but yeah, but she, she, she was really good and I think she helped the um she, she helped the team, Russian team get a goal right in the team event. So these are the kind of uh you know people that I kind of uh notice um for this Olympics. So today we are going to use these colors. So maybe I'll just show you guys how these colors look like together. I always have this sketchbook with me. So I have another sketchbook to actually test out the colors. So here are the colors, right? So this is the Cardi, Cardi paper. So this is the Cardi, uh, I think called a block book or something. And here are all the, um, you know, limited color, limited palette challenges, challenge colors. So that was, here are all these colors. I think this is a little bit close. Hey, Zhu Huan, yes, yes, Yu Zhu, Yu Zhu, Ru Han Yu, Camellia, Camellia, and Nathan Chen. Yes, thank you, thanks for joining. How are you? <laughs> I hope you have more time out uh, now, not just three hours, um, and you'll be able to do more stuff other than cutting hair and having a, a fast food. <laughs> hope you had like a good um, Chinese food or Thai food or something. So so I think um I'm a, I think the um, palette the, okay the, the camera's a little bit too close right now so that you guys so you guys can see a lot of stuff. So let me just adjust this. Okay. Uh, okay now you guys can see. Oh it's still the same. So I hope you did other stuff other than, you know, um having uh I hope you get more art things. <laughs> When are they going to make it like better, like increase the sessions or like increase the hours that you guys can can spend outside? Because I, I cannot imagine, you know, I think you guys are just amazing. Um, able to kind of tolerate being confined in the house for so long and being able to only 
only able to get out for three hours. I think that's kind of crazy. Okay, let me just adjust this so that you guys can. Okay, right. Okay, so you oh, so you say that oh, probably when the next semester start in about two weeks. Okay, okay, that's that's good. Like I mean, I think I'm. You should be. You know, everyone will be looking forward to that. Cannot imagine if if the semester has started and you guys still can't go out. Yeah, but of course, uh, I, I guess you can also say that, that you, you did have a good rest, like you didn't go out do much stuff, but you kind of like maybe spend more time doing more art <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, I guess knowing yourself, um, finding out more about things, I guess. That was what I felt when I had like the self-isolation, you know, when I had COVID that time. And, and it was, to me, like, a good time to kind of discover myself and blah, blah. You got too lazy. <laughs> yeah, I did. Like, I think I uh, I was I was in, like, self-isolation for, like, eight days or nine days. And I think I, I did spend a few days just not doing anything. <laughs> hey, yo, Blueberry Yogurt. Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Hi, hi, Blue. <laughs> Hi, hi, Blueberry. How are you? Uh, yeah, it's still Chinese New Year, actually. And you know, like, uh, Valentine's Day is coming in two days' time. <laughs> yes, how about Chinese New Year? I think it was pretty quiet. I didn't really do much stuff for Chinese New Year. Um, other than, I think... Yeah, the only thing that we did, actually, was, like, Lao Yusheng. Like, we had the Chinese, the, the, the salad thing, the toss stuff that we did. Well, New Year was was okay. CN Art Y was okay. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yes, yeah. Yeah, it's really funny. Um it is um uh, it, it will be Chinese um the Valentine's Day on Monday and then on Tuesday it's the Chinese Valentine's. <laughs> it's yeah, it's very really cool. And um, I was actually thinking, you know, like for today that I'm going to paint something related to Valentine's Day. But I couldn't find anything to paint. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I have no idea what to paint. And, you know, like Olympics just came up. And, uh, yeah, and I was looking at their costume, these guys' costume. I was like, hey, I can paint something. I'm a little bit worried about Nathan's, uh, Nathan's <laughs> attire. But I think this should work, right? Camille, uh, Camilla, probably here, and then for Yuzu, uh, Han Yu is probably this one. I mean, I can just use manganese blue. Like he knows the he knows the deal. Like we are gonna do this challenge, and he knows that he has to wear something like that. <laughs> I think that's what Ah uh, Zhu Han said. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You know, I think this palette is is like a highlighter palette. Highlighter palette. I could have just called this highlighter palette. <laughs> I, I think I should have just called it highlighter palette because the colors is I think it's the opera pink and the manganese blue that it's just crazy and this is a very close one the one from Hobine very very close but of course the problem with this palette is you can't get very dark so yeah okay you know like it's so strange that it's so bright that um the the light right it's kind of adjusting like my camera light uh, the brightness it's kind of adjusting and then it just the whole thing just becomes so white so so weird i don't know if if, if it's gonna go with. yeah high key painting yay, yay, yay. i know right okay but my <laughs> sketchbook is so small <laughs> i hope i hope that i can uh, i can manage i will manage to like draw out <laughs> draw them out properly because um, I think the the key to drawing good figures or or portrait is actually to to have uh, to draw bigger, right? That's um, that's what Zhuhan said. But I I agree with that because then you could actually get into. Can you see like it just gets like what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> maybe because this is too dark. Okay, just let me. Yeah, see auto for auto, auto brightness. Okay, right. So now we are back. Okay, I think I need to adjust this so that you guys can see the um um let me adjust the autofocus. So I hope that this time um yeah, I hope I have no prob I will get it right. Remember the last time I didn't trace, it looked like crap. 
<laughs> the the uh what do you call that? What's that one that we had? Uh, the freak freak shake. That was pretty horrible. It's like one of the most horrible paintings that I've ever done. I felt really really bad. Okay, so right, let me just uh clip this up and uh, hopefully hold this at the top. So pretty okay, very very small. So uh. Was it Tim's portrait? Yes, that was the one. That was that was that well, was horrible. Like, <laughs> didn't even look like him at all, and I felt so bad. Like you know, it's the kind of thing that, and you do it like in front of everyone, so it's the kind of thing that oh, you always remember in your life. <laughs> okay, so now I I I I'm trying. Okay, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> his name, you know the panda, right? The mascot. What's his name? His name is really cute, right? Is it Bing Duan Duan or what? He's so cute. What is Bing Duan Duan? <laughs> Bing Duan Duan? What's the Chinese? What's the Chinese word for it? I, I think his name is very, very cute. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna try to like just draw um draw it um now. So we will start with um let me think. Okay, the problem here is that you can you see that this page here is actually a, a not a square, so it can be a bit strange. So I might should I just shift this so that it's actually more yeah it's like that yeah probably yeah okay yeah what I'll do is I'll just uh, try to draw this like this okay let me adjust so that you guys can see this one yes. <sighs> So, okay, let me see. Um, I am thinking if I'm going to use the... Um, I may just put Nathan maybe here. So anyway, I, I, I managed to find all their performance because they, um, the performance is actually a day. They, they, they perform on, during a daytime. Um, yeah, during a daytime. It's a daytime performance. So, you know, by the time I go back from work, it's already kind of um, uh, over. But I managed to find somewhere to watch it, uh, for for like for free for free. Oh, like a replay, and it was pretty good. Yeah, ping tuan tuan. <laughs> Is it ping tuan tuan? Ping tuan tuan. What does that mean? Like, what does the? I'm thinking like, what's the tuan tuan? Like, what word is it? You know, it's just so cute. Oh, it's just a cute name. Oh, how do you write it? Is there is there a Chinese word to it? I don't even know. There's a tuan. <laughs> Okay, never mind. By such a cute name. Okay. And I was just looking for the skating mascot. Because you know like mascots, right? They will make them into many forms. Oh, robust, healthy, stout. Really? Ping, tuan, tuan, tuan. Like tuan, 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 tuan. Ah, so actually... Is it, wait, wait, it's tuan, tuan. Ping, tuan, tuan. Um, I'm just thinking whether it's a tuan, tuan. Like a... Tuan Tuan <laughs> Oh my god Tuan Tun 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 Is it Tun Tun T U A N T U A N Tuan Tuan Very interesting Okay I I'm not a Hey Zaid Hello Zaid <laughs> Hey yeah <laughs> How are you? Thanks for joining Are you watching? That's it Tuan Tuan Okay I <laughs> Because you know when I was I was watching uh, the the com the highlights of uh, the Olympic highlights and I I heard the um, Caucasian uh, commentators pronounce it as ping tuan tuan. So <laughs> how are you, Zaid? I hope that you have uh, you are you are well. It has been a while since we have seen you on on our stream. Have you been painting? Have you <laughs> have not seen you um, post on 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 Instagram, which is um. Yeah, look, I was I was kind of like hoping to see you paint more. Yeah, but it's okay. I mean, you know, things, you, everyone has, has things to do. Yeah, 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 well, that's good, that's good. Uh, have you been watching the um, Olympics or you're watching like football or something? Oh, you want to get back? Uh, I guess, I guess, you know, like life always gets, gets to us, you know. <laughs> Okay, so I'll I'm gonna start with uh, 
I mean, no, 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 no. I'm going to start with the easiest thing, which is the Beijing 2020. 2022, right? So, right. Okay. The thing about drawing these, okay, I'm going to try to keep this as clean as I can because um, if not, it's going to be kind of difficult to, to erase it um, off. Then again, I think I might be, I'm not, I don't think I will be using pure watercolor. Zhu Huan, Zhu Huan has been um, kind of in prison, <laughs> but he, he can actually get out right now. Like now it's Chinese New Year, um, still Chinese New Year, uh, CNY, um, and, and uh, yeah, and it's kind of nice to actually do things, uh, you know, it's like kind of a tradition thing and, you know, we do a lot of visiting and stuff like that. Yeah, so, okay, the thing about doing these uh, is, is that I don't like it. Sometimes we have to make sure that uh, we do this properly, like with the font, especially the font. Can't, get, <laughs> can't complain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's kind of uh, necessary because you don't want to... Um, it, it can be a, a, a crazy thing for the hospital, so I, I think we, we can kind of agree that this is necessary, you know, because given that like the number of people you have in a city and, and the number of hospital beds you have, um, you know, the, the government has to think about what they need to do, you know, if it's gonna, oh, it's kind of too big, the Beijing, oh, okay, I, I probably need to do something to make it a little bit smaller, <laughs> yeah, yeah, ups. so I, I'm gonna make sure that I, I'm today, I'm just gonna, I don't think it will take me a long time. I believe this is going to be more sketching than a painting because um, it's really small. I don't think I can just use watercolor for this, um, like just pure watercolor painting. Because I'm going to probably use like a zero, 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 zero <laughs> brush. This is crazy small. Um, and it's going to be like, and I'm probably going to wear my, my, my uh, binoculars. Binoculars? <laughs> How do you call that? My, my, my reading glass, magnifying glass when I paint. In fact, I've seen someone. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know this lady on Instagram. She paints really, really small. She called them like the paintings for for uh, ants, and she really uses a, a magnifying glass when she paints her tiny paintings. Very, very cool. Um, you know, it's like those Chinese. Uh, uh, you know, Bian Hu, right? Oh, why is this? Oh, blueberry says. Oh, it can be um, an urban sketching style too. Yeah, I guess. I will. I don't know how this is gonna look like. I've never done an urban sketching style uh, of a human figure, and I I haven't never done it properly. Like <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna. I don't know how this is gonna look, but we'll try. Okay. Oh, why this subject? Oh, yeah, because it's it's the Olympics, and then I was just you know I've, I've been spending. I'm I'm kind of obsessed with skate figure skating, kind of. Um, so I've been watching a lot of figure skating, and um, yeah, and I realized that they the attire, um, yeah, they are they are, they are attire. I can actually paint paint it, and for of course for me it's because I wanna practice drawing figures. Uh, it's kind of the thing, kind of thing that I don't like to do. I don't like to draw figures because it's just I don't know. Some people are so good at drawing figures. I think you need some kind of formula. You need to practice a lot. Um, I've tried it many times as a bird sketcher. It's just something that we need to learn because um, you always see people. It's kind of weird when you paint uh, like a scene and then there's no people uh, in the scene because it's just like, oh, is this post-apocalypse or something? How come there's no one <laughs> on the street? Which is, yeah, which is kind of weird. Like, um, yeah, I, 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 when I paint, I, I, when I do urban sketching, I always get into this problem. So yeah, so I think it's something that I want to do because we are already doing a lot of uh, portraits um, ever since I started. I'm a Bruce Gray. <laughs> I am not la, scores and I. <laughs> no, no, Zhu <laughs> Hua, no. <laughs> and Zayat, no, of course I'm not. <laughs> I can't even skate, like I can't even rollerblade. Who can rollerblade here? I can't even rollerblade. And if I see, like, the only thing I can do, like, remotely is actually um, cycling. I can I only cycle. I can only cycle. Like, things on, like, roll wheels, I can only cycle. I, I can't even rollerblade. I can't even roller skate or, 
you know the um, longboard, the skateboard stuff. Like I can't. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> yeah, Blueberry says, yeah, urban sketching takes a lot of simplification too, and you need to understand the form to simplify it most times. Yes, yes, you need to like do it a lot, and then you need to kind of like um, simplify it because you can't draw every single detail. It's just, it's just not possible. Yeah. So. And then, you know, for me, when I, when I urban sketch, I, I really just want to capture the scene. And yeah, but you still need the people. Like, you can't run away from doing people. Yeah. Because you, have you seen, like, a, a drawing that is really nice and then you realize that, hmm, something's really weird. But there's no one walking on the street. So, yeah. <laughs> that can happen. That can happen. Okay, so I think this one is pretty okay. <laughs> the painting. I took so long to just do this one. What? I'm not gonna do the little you know they had this okay, I'm just gonna show you the actual I think this is the uh, um actual symbol symbol like a you know um ambient or some emblem blend blend whatever. Yeah, so I, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna do the painting two zero two two and the um yeah, okay. Right, so now I really like the Bing Duan Duan is so cute. And it's supposed to be like a plastic coil, right? Something like that. Ah, should I draw it? I don't know. I don't think I should. <laughs> it's not really weird if I draw it. Okay, I'm gonna do Nathan now. <laughs> I need magnifying glass for this. <laughs> ah, I don't know how I will do it. I think this is gonna be like kind of laughable. <laughs> I'll try my best, okay? I'll try my best. Okay, I, you know, the problem with drawing like people is the proportion. So I'm just gonna try to think about like how I would do actually as a like as a person, like as a uh, someone doing this. So I think um, his head is like, I'm going to try measuring it. <gasps> Are you going to draw the little skate bears too? Yeah, I, I'm actually thinking I should do the skate bears. Maybe I should do like little skate bears here and there, right? Maybe the skate bear here and then maybe a, another, the, the, the tuan, pink tuan tuan bear somewhere here, just without the skating. I think that's going to be really kind of cute. <laughs> Just, I, I think maybe I should I should have just done the pink tuan tuan just the pink tuan tuan itself how do you get the toys like the actual I know like people queue up like crazy like how do people queue up for it like can you buy online yeah I'd be right like, <laughs> I would try I try I try okay so anyway I'm just gonna try to measure the, the size okay um, because I think you have to measure I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it so this is the picture that I found for of Nathan Chen and he was and have you seen this Oh, we need to put. Oh my God, yes. Okay, the funny thing about uh, uh Yuzuru is the is the is the we need to pull, but uh, unfortunately they are unable to do it this time. <laughs> it's so cute. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, um, but I think it's rumored. I don't know if it's true, but it's rumored that he really loved uh we need to pull so much because he has a, a tissue box and it's like a we need to pull um tissue box, and then after that. All his fans um, start to uh, go to like like kind of uh, cheer him on every time he goes for a a, a, a a skate and then they would they would just throw like rain <laughs> rain pool we need a pool on, on him like once he's done like with this routine and and then he it's just so cute like <laughs> you should you should guys should go find find the video of him um, being rained <laughs> on by 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 we need a pool. I think it was the last. Yeah, it was the, yeah, it's so cute, right? Yes. I find it so cute, like <laughs> Yes. And 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 the thing is like he's he's so he's such a you know like conscientious or I, I don't know what you call it, like um he's just so interesting. Like he, he would donate the um is this too fat? It seems like this is a little bit too fat. She, it should be. Maybe I should actually just. Yeah, this is. You know the problem now with. <laughs> with sketching is that you kind of like need to know. Um, kind of need to know like the proportion. <laughs> it's okay. I have time. <laughs> I have a lot of time for this. <laughs> this small little piece with the the person. Oh my god! The ears look so big. <laughs> so sorry. I was talking about the. Yeah, the we the poo. So he, he gave it out to the kids um of the country that he, he was performing at. So it's so nice of him to, to actually do that. 
So yeah, I think I should. Maybe I should include the Winnie the Pooh and then also the the Ping Don Don Bear. So it's interesting. Anyone know anything about Nathan Nathan Chen? Like, does he have a like a mascot like that? The um the poor uh girl. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so tough. The poor uh Russian girl. I'm not even sure whether she. It's intentional, or she didn't know, or, and and she has been taking all these medicine, um, and without her, her without without her, you know, like her knowing that that she's actually taking them. It's hard to say, right? Like, yeah. Okay, so now I I think he um Nathan Chen has kind of a longish face, so yeah, I am just kind of trying to maybe I should like kind of change change the image so you guys can. Kind of see how that's done. Uh, by no means I'm I'm like super good at this. Okay, I'm not I'm not good at um drawing people. So, um that's why I'm doing this because I'm gonna try to get better at it. So let's just have Nathan done. Oh, it's tiny little Nathan here. Okay, so nah. Okay, there you go. So I'm just gonna try to like draw him. Like, can you see like even the face? Ah, the angle is already wrong. Oh, this is so tough. This is gonna take a long time, but slowly, slowly, I'm just gonna do it nicely. I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna make sure that I, I actually kind of. You know, this is like a exploration kind of a session where I just yeah, just do my best to kind of learn, uh, go through the whole thing. You know, with with drawing people like now the face looks so big. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, it takes time. It takes time. So, okay. So, what other what other um spots or like uh, the um, Winter Olympics uh, have you guys um been watching other than other than this one? Like, I know um recently um the girl, the girl, the Eileen. You see Eileen? Eileen uh has been cool. I think was was she was she performed really well uh for that 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 skating event skiing skiing event yeah yeah so i i just realized that there are actually a lot of um chinese who have come back to china like they are born overseas and then come back to china to to kind of perform for the country so very very interesting kind of a trend that's happening Oh the hand! Oh my god, the hand is so difficult to draw. <laughs> it's just looking. Okay, never mind. I'll I'll try my best. Yeah, the hand is kind of difficult to draw, but I guess uh we will try to just kind of uh, see how that's that's done. No issue. Yeah, I I actually watched his uh performance just now while drying my hair, and I think he, it was really enjoyable. Um. This one was like per. I think it was the, sh the long one. Was it the long, the long program? The short program he was wearing black, if I'm not wrong, and the long program Nathan was wearing this this attire, and um, I truly enjoy it. I don't know. This this looks like a robot's hand or something. Draw them out as simple shapes, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I should. I should actually do it like that. It's looking kind of weird, but it's okay. Okay, the face is kind of difficult because you want to make sure that he looks... Uh, okay, let me just try to adjust. Like, does the face look kind of weird here? I don't know. Okay. So for the f eyes... Okay. This feels like an urban sketch to me. Like, I think this is going to be end up looking like an urban sketch. Oh, this is the tough one. So he has... I don't know how I'm gonna draw this without him looking really odd. I don't know how that's gonna happen. You know, it, this this kind of line, it's kind of hard to draw. Oh, when he finish? Hey, the ArcGIS Pro, you're back! <laughs> yeah, he's away. So he's finally back. Oh, 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 Nathan. Oh, so Juhan says, when Nathan finished his jump, he just stands out. Oh, yeah, he is. He's just jump. He he just, he feels, it feels like he's just dancing. It's not, he's not skiing at all. He's skating at all. He just feel like he's just 
dancing to the music. And, and you know, he, it's, you can actually tell he's gonna look like Handel. <laughs> he's gonna look like... Uh, yeah, he said... So some people, um, some of our relatives came to visit. So I, I came, I came back, like, um, I decided that, okay, I, I should just go because I need to do this. Yeah, so the RGS Pro was entertaining them. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, this is so tough. <laughs> is he gonna look like uh, some weird looking old man? Oh no, I feel really bad. If he ended up looking like a weird looking old man. Sketching is so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> This is tough. <laughs> He's looking like an omen. Okay. So when I think you should try, you should try painting, um, a smiley. Like he looks, he he in this one he looks like he's smiling. So I think you should try painting a smiling face. I've never seen Zuhan paint a, a smiling person. So I think this is the best I could do, <laughs> without him looking like an omen. Now he's like. It's it's harder because it's tiny. Yeah, I know, right? Like because I want to fit it into this kind of a this feels like an urban sketch, you know, kind of thing. It's really small. Maybe the eyes are a little bit big, so I may actually make it a bit smaller. And I think the face here, this one here is also a little bit strange. And you know it's hard to erase because this is so small. Yeah, you should try. Try it, happy Nathan. You should try it. Because every I think um ah uh, you guys are not on Discord oh wait. Yeah, I think the um Zhu Huan actually post uh the, the on Discord what he has done for, for what I'm gonna do next week, the uh, our art challenge. So yeah guys please um I hope you guys uh if you have time uh do come and take part in our uh our art challenge. Yeah, the community art challenge. Because uh, we already have uh, for this for this for this uh, this month of uh, for this month we are doing um, eye so eye is like ice cream yeah pretty much it I don't think there's anything like what I did was ice kacang so it's really quite close to eye so it's just anything's related to eyes I don't know I think yeah and 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 just uh, next week we are gonna do our um, what do you call that? Our uh, shred tell. So, looking forward to everyone's uh, participation. Participation. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I don't know. He's kind of looking like. Oh, there's A here. You're late. The sketch is coming out well. And who's A? <laughs> oh, there's someone here. Hi A, did you change? Is it something wrong with it? Uh, oh really? It's really a oh wait who's this? Really A. <laughs> Hi A. <laughs> Listen, are you not Nancy? You're not Nancy. A, A, explain yourself. Who's A? <laughs> who's A? <laughs> this is such a cute name. How do you get A as a name? <laughs> How do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> anyway, thanks. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's coming out, but I think he looks like Gandalf. I am Ame, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's so hard to get. Can you actually change? Can we actually change our name to anything? Like, I was just wondering, maybe I should change mine as well. It's kind of interesting to actually call yourself as a... Um, you know, celebrity. Is it actually okay? Like, uh, oh, is it is it possible to actually call yourself a celebrity? I'm just wondering. But anyway, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, A. Yeah, the sketch. Um, I don't know about the sketch. Um, he looks like he looks like Gandalf. I don't know. He looks like an old man. I hope I could actually make him look better. And the heads is a little bit weird as well. I'll, oh well. Anyway, I'll try my best. So I think we kind of have a little bit of a fun here. Um, later on, uh, I think the hand actually went out a bit. Should I should I redraw this? I'm just thinking whether I should redraw this. And you know, like I kind of cut off his the other arm over here. I could actually put it closer. Just wondering. Eh, nah, maybe just leave it here. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here like this. 
um, and we're gonna see what else uh, what <laughs> how what I'm gonna do with this this one over here I don't know how this whole piece gonna look <laughs> I'm gonna regret this you know the thing about drawing people who has got like the kind of expression um, it's also a little bit stressful because you might end up making um, the person look look really weird um, so Nathan is fine because he looks happy. So next we have uh, Camilla, Camilla, Cam, 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 Camilla, Camilla, Camilla. Yeah. Okay. She look at her face. Like she looks like she's kind of. Um. What pen? And I'm using. Oh no, I'm using a pencil actually. Um. I have not. I've not. Uh. I will actually uh, put. The, it's gonna be old ink and wash. So I will. I will do a. a, a Maybe using a pen, I might use, um, I have a few pens that have, but I have to look for one that has really fine knit because otherwise um, it will be very hard to look, uh, very hard to see. So this is the Pilot Kakuro, I might be using this one. This is F, um, extra fine, so um, I'm not even sure if it's gonna be look um, okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Um, okay, right, so I'm gonna do draw Camilla, Khalid Camilla here, and her face looks like she is kind of enjoyment, kind of in pain, kind of, um, but I think what I'll do is I'll just maybe draw her a little bit higher, maybe uh, the head, no, maybe like, like having, this is so tough, has anyone has any um, idea, or like anyone has any uh, experience drawing people? Um, any tips that anyone would like to give on drawing figures? I know, like um, Zuhan said, like we should actually do little fig um, little shapes, right? I guess uh, I'm just gonna try. Um, let's have a. The problem with us is the proportion. Like we are, it's hard to know how long the hand should kind of. Uh, I think this is kind of okay. I'm just gonna draw little shapes here. And then we're going to think about like how um, we are going to... I think my, my weakness is actually... Like this looks it's, looks like it's too long. Yeah, I mean... You may have to do Camilla top half only. Yeah, probably. So I may have to end a little bit like here. Maybe a little bit... Maybe we'll have... I don't know where, how that's going to go. We're going to see. Like we're going to see. Because if it's too small, it's, it will be cut really use kind of a difficult like looking at the, 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 the hand like this one looks too long so I'm just gonna kind of this is tough <laughs> paper is too small oh really hand rip is oh okay she's good at it oh yeah we need uh, have you learned um like much from it maybe I should watch her more yeah, the problem is I, I kind of, um, because I also do a lot of videos, so I kind of like not really watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos. Actually, I do watch, la, but you know, I watch weird stuff like, yeah, like Olympics, no, 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 like ice skating, like curling, you know. Curling, I also like, I also like curling, but there isn't so much drama in curling. Curling is kind of like a... Mm, it's a quiet sport. It's really quiet. <laughs> I mean, other than hearing people shouting, uh, you know, like oh yeah, um, it's it, yeah, it's pretty quiet. And I just, like figure figure is figure skating is just so exciting and it's so flashy. You know the um the other one like this for summer olympic would be the gymnastic so gymnastic is another one that's like super cool and it's so amazing so i think last um like last the last uh tokyo one um okay my hand is horrible <laughs> the drama is in the sweeping <laughs> and the shouting actually they do shout like quite a bit um especially the skip so the skip is supposed to be the guy like who's at the end and that guy is like the the, the captain. So it kind of like <laughs> it's really funny. Like he would he would be shouting as as his uh, member um, does the uh, I don't know what you call that. They they have a name for that uh, when they release the the hammer, and 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 it, sometimes it just felt like he's scolding them like hey 
Hey, can you sweep sweep faster? That's too slow. Like more, more, sweep more. <laughs> he just felt like he, he was just yeah. But other than that, I don't know. It's just not that amazing. But it's just kind of funny. It feel like you know, like it, it's a little bit like chess. Uh, because you got to kind of be kind of strategic, you know, it's a lot of brains and not really like, you know, uh, you have to be really good at certain things, certain posture or certain technique, that kind of stuff. So it's just a little bit like different. It's a little bit, she might look kind of, oh my god, I, I don't know, she might look like a little pigeon. <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah. Make it such that she doesn't look too weird. It's just kind of weird to... Oh, this is so, so difficult. Okay. That's not too bad. Like, uh, yeah. Ugh. Okay. You know, I, I am... Um, I like to do more landscape. Because landscape is... Diff not that diff it's it doesn't it, it doesn't um you know you you don't need to be so accurate when you do landscape because people could kind of the eyes you know could could kind of uh fill in the 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 the, the, the blanks and the shadows and whatnot and and they kind of it's easy for them to to, to see a piece um of of landscape compared to like a uh, a portrait because for portrait for portraits you're looking for accuracy right um, to, to determine how good you are but for landscape it's not really so because they people don't care like how many trees you have uh, they don't go count like the trees and stuff like that so yeah oh anyway um, I don't know if this is weird but yeah hmm I think this is okay. Newsroom might be really, really small though. We'll see how that goes. So that's kind of crowded here. We have very, uh, quite a, let me just make sure that it doesn't look too weird, the proportion and the anatomy. So the thing about drawing figure is sometimes you need to, uh, I would say sometimes, but most of the time you need to know a little bit of uh, human anatomy for it not to look too odd. So now, I'm trying my best to do this without knowing very much about human anatomy. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see you guys try this. <laughs> oh, you mean like this one? Don't you feel like the curve could have been exaggerated a bit? Like where? Like, um, like here? Like, is it too much? Oh, like, is it too much here? Oh, or there. Oh, I wonder. Oh, the RGS Pro say that the athletes have really short professional lifespan. Yeah, they do retire very fast. I guess, you know, it. it, it people will still do it. <laughs> uh, because it's just something that they're born for. Like, they really like it. I, I don't think you'll actually put yourself through, like, so much training without actually really loving it. Kind of. Yeah, I guess like when when they are doing well, they should just, you know, try to juice it. <laughs> yeah, Zayat says, oh, oh wait, no, a, no, a bit too little, a bit too little. Like it should be more exaggerated, like the, the curve should be more exaggerated. Yeah, I guess maybe here. Okay, let me kind of adjust this a bit. You know, I, I think this is the sketch kind of, I, I'm not sure if, if, uh, yeah, it does that kind of work. <laughs> so I was watching some kind of documentary, um, on, on the sketch, the, 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 the skaters. And then it's just kind of sad about like how they have become kind of, uh, easily disposable. Because, you know, once they have reached, uh, oh, I think my ski looks a little bit, the uh, boots looks a bit small. So I'm going to kind of draw it a little bit bigger. It is expensive, really. 
Oh, because you need to go to the the rink, right? I've not done it before. I don't know how much it costs. Is it? Does it cost as much as bowling? I mean, bowling is not exactly expensive, but um, yeah. Actually, do people still bowl? Because um, it has been really a long while since I last bowl. Like I think close to five years. I'm not sure. Is it as expensive? Hi, Miss Jamie. Hello. Oh, looking. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I would love figure skating and often think of drawing skaters, but never have. Oh, you should try it. It's. I must tell you, it's difficult. <laughs> it's like kind of the. I don't know why I. I. I, I would like. Oh, I would not do this. This is difficult. <laughs> because firstly, I don't ski. I mean, I don't skate. And secondly, um, Singapore's so hot. I don't really see a lot of people skating. <laughs> it's kind of a... We only have... We do have a skating ring. <laughs> one skating ring. Um, and I've never been. So I have not been to one. I don't know how much it costs to, to skate. And yeah, I don't know how it feels to actually skate. But we have a lot of uh, Singaporeans who love to fly... Um, to an overseas country with uh, snow to, to ski ski yeah uh, not skate <laughs> I've not I've not I've not done that not done that at all yeah <laughs> oh Zai so says I guess it's popular oh, oh yeah it is golf is overrated yeah I think it is I, I don't understand golf golf wastes a lot of space wastes a lot of uh, resources because people got to water those uh, you know pictures of those grass so that they are good for good for um, balls to roll i don't know <laughs> i don't think i i don't think i tried golfing either i'm i'm, I'm kind of uh when you talk about um sports i'm i'm more like a, a jogger jogger i just jogged in the morning today um and uh i cycle uh and i uh i play badminton with the rgs pro sometimes but it's very difficult to get a badminton court in Singapore. So, yeah, I haven't been playing badminton for a long time, which is pretty sad. Zuhan says, oh, there is a, there's a rink in Xi'an, so you want to try? Yeah, you should. I think you should go try. It's going to be really fun. I will, I, 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 there is one in Singapore, so maybe, yeah, maybe I might go. But I don't know whether I'll break my bones or what. I might break bones. That would be, that would be uh unthinkable. Maybe I shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't try. Okay, this is this is a difficult part. Like if I do this, um, like okay, I gotta kind of I have to like kind of erase this really, um, carefully because we do not want to make like the drawings um yeah like waste the drawing so i'm just gonna try to do some okay i'm gonna erase a little bit of uh ice skating or any ice games are never popular in topic tropical country yeah i am i think so too i don't think yeah ice skating and um uh we we don't have a lot we don't have fi so we probably don't we don't appreciate that and A says, is it just me or do most rich people play golf? I guess there are rich people. I'm rich old men, <laughs> rich men. Because I don't think they really play it. I think it's more the uh, interaction, the, you know, having a lot of time with the particular person. Um, example, if you, are, you kind of need to speak to a kind of rich guy and he loves to play golf because it's kind of sedentary and... Um, yeah and people would play it because then they could have time to speak to the, the these uh, big bosses and stuff like that i really think it's more like a business thing it's not really a sport well because other people which people would think otherwise maybe there's some tactics you need to know you know the wind you need to know the um i don't know the grass kind of stuff yeah it's for connection isn't it Hey, Nancy's! Hello, Nancy's! Good morning! <laughs> yeah, it's for business, for connection. I know, I know. So, it's not really a sport. It's really a waste. Yeah. It doesn't really... I don't I don't think it makes you fitter, though. 
another thing that I don't understand is actually weights. Like the uh, people train with the weights and they, they kind of bulk up. But I guess that's kind of... I mean, I don't understand because I'm a, late, I'm a girl. Uh, I, I don't really think I want to bulk up. So I don't understand that. But um, of course, it's, it's important uh, because, you know, mm, it kind of make you more appealing to girls, I guess, if you kind of have more bulk. <laughs> Oh yeah, the RGS Pro. Normal people play as well. Doesn't have to be rich. I I don't know. It's just I don't know how much it costs though. Like maybe in the in, in previously, you know, you need to have some kind of a connection to to play. You need to have to like be a club member. But maybe now it, it, it that's the virtual golf as well. Like you play in front of um uh cameras cameras like screens and stuff like that so maybe for those uh, you don't really need to be rich you just need to be interested and yeah i think i've seen one or twice who's the other live stream oh well yeah who who <laughs> two of your favorite live stream are on the same time you got to on to uh you gotta turn on to computers at one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know who's the other live streamer. You just need to... Oh, so DRGS Pro says you just need to pay golf course membership. Yeah, but then I, I think we've seen um, those uh, virtual golf, right? Like they, they put it, like they do it in front of screens and stuff like that. So those kind, I don't think you need to have any. It doesn't seem like it, right? Okay, I am. I think I'm kind of happy with my hands. She look. They all look like they have like, I don't know, like robotic hands or something. Oh, dance 3D live stream. A group playing a video game. What? Who's playing a video game? Wow. I was like, um. Oh, I see. I see. I see. No wonder. I see. I see. 3D conceptual art. Actually, what does what do you do for for concept 3D conceptual um art? Like, is it like you design a character or something like that? Kind of interesting, right? You know the the, the kind of things that that you can do. Um, I don't think you can do this with Procreate. Like, I the only digital the art that I can do is actually with Procreate. Is and and what I do is normally just drawing, um, uh, like. Art, like like lines and, and drawing and stuff like that. I think my our Camilla is big. I'm gonna like kind of shrink her. Uh oh, ga. Ga, 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 ga. okay. Okay. Maybe this one could be like longer. Wait, maybe this part? Yeah? Okay, I'm just gonna kind of like um very carefully erase this. This is gonna be a ink and wash, yeah. Because I don't think I can paint <laughs> paint this properly. Like um paint this in with watercolor, just watercolors. So what what sports do you guys do? Do y'all anyone else ski uh skates other than JB? One day I will go. I don't know when. Oh, another thing that actually I want to learn, I want to do, is actually um, archery. I, I, but I really bad eyesight. So I think I'm going to waste all my money doing... <laughs> oh, in the same way, I know. <laughs> if Zuru is going to be really, really small. It's fine, I'm going to draw him really small. Because anyway, these two guys here, we are our champions, so he can be really small. <laughs> and we have a little... Area for pool and Bing Duan Duan. Maybe Bing Duan Duan will be here. The skating Bing Duan Duan is. Yeah, skating Bing Duan Duan here, maybe. And the Bing Duan Duan here. We'll try. I don't know how that's gonna do. <laughs> Thanks to Juan for reminding me <laughs> that we have um, you two to think about. He's really an ad like a legend, this guy, um, Yuzu. Oh, I'm so bad at doing figures. Okay, never mind. I'll try my, my best. 
So Nancy says, oh, for three D conceptual art, you design stuff digitally and ultimately create landscapes of video games. Sounds very interesting. Kind of fun, yeah. I don't even think I'll be able to. I don't think I would be able to do that. Okay. Uh, good thing about Yuzu, right? Is his he's kind of small. Like I only he is like less than a half size, like the half body. So it's maybe a quarter body. So. It's not that difficult. I have space for him. <laughs> DRGS Pro says, People who golf are mostly those who want to network to get business or climb the hierarchy. Yeah, I know. Right now there are more ways to to do the uh, to do this. I know. But I still see, I think in Singapore, we still have a few of these. Um, I think I would, let me try to draw him a little bit smaller. Because otherwise, I might not be able to fit his body in there. He will look really, really odd. <sighs> I'm really bad at this. So you guys are just... This is a negative demonstration. I should go take a course on like human... How to draw figures or something. Has anyone done any courses on drawing figures? And how does it... Did it work? Did you manage to draw people better after your... After taking the course, I would actually want to kind of learn to do figures, draw figures. So he's gonna be like, maybe just, just here, gonna just do him, his arms. He's very skinny, right? Like, I think the thing about being, um, Nathan Chen feel like a big guy, like tall and, he's not fat lah, but he's maybe kind of muscular, but still thin like thin um fit and slim slim but Yuzuru it just feels like a very malnourished boy <laughs> it feels like it if you actually see his performance and he's always wearing these like very um mm, pastel pastel costumes Okay, making him like a very, uh, yeah, different. I think they are, they just they are just different. So yeah, the hand. So I'm I'm I I think I will just put his hand like kind of here. Okay. I'm just gonna do it this way. I will just draw the kind of general shape and then I'll do it in there. Oh, it's really small. Really like five two. Oh my god. He's 5'2", I am 5'5". Five five. He's shorter than me! He looks tall! What? What? <laughs> okay, now I know. Ah, he's so small! Wow, okay, I didn't even know. I think they are kind of small, like you need to be really small to like kind of jump up and like do spins, right? Like, can I imagine if like you are like tall? <laughs> how, how high can you jump to do all the spins before you fall off? Like your legs are just too long. Yeah, so the one says that uh, individual skaters need to be light for jumps. Yeah, pair skaters need to be top bulky for lift. I uh, yeah, like when I see the pair ones, the guys are like kind of usually like really big size, and the and the ladies are really small, so they they could throw the girls, throw the lady, the partner around kind of. But it's it's kind of interesting. Like I've seen um a few. Oh sorry, let me just switch our scene to to Yuzuru. Uh, no, no. <laughs> so this is just a sketch, yeah. Later on, um, yeah, we will, we will draw this properly, uh, with the pen. And I hope I, I, hope, the pen is really difficult. I hope the, I will be able to get the look. Okay. So yeah, a lot of people say that this guy is the goat, god of all time. Okay. Anyway. I'm just gonna leave his hands here, like the space for his hands here, and then we have that, and he goes like like this. Okay, I still <laughs> didn't want this part look a bit strange, right? It looks like a head is a little bit small, but we will we'll we'll, we'll figure out we'll figure out, right? We have no space for pool. Oh no! You know I want to tell you guys a funny thing. I wouldn't say funny. So I, I used to take Japanese lessons when I was in school. 
and then um the teacher the people the teachers are so polite and there was this time i i had a kind of a good laugh because the teacher uh, wanted to borrow some tissue paper from us and 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 we i i i think one of our classmates gave it like lent her like gave her the tissue um paper which is in a little pouch and that pouch has pool on it pool bear pool we need a pool bear and she went like ah kawaii it's a wee pool song so Ooh. <laughs> thank you Darth Vader 7768 you've just subscribed thanks for subscribing thank you so much I hope you enjoy <laughs> looking at this uh, which is um, yeah I'm trying my best okay I'm really bad at drawing figures so I hope this uh, will turn out okay thanks 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 for that thank you so much <laughs> so yes I'll say yeah so I, I find Japanese just so so polite like even a character cute character Poo will be called Poo Sang <laughs> so cute so where is why are we gonna do where are we gonna draw little Poo Sang oh this is so tough I think this part it could have been better like here okay yeah I will have a lot of problem with the hands but uh yeah that's about kind of uh you know when they I, I don't know if you guys know about learning um getting better at doing things you kind of need to push yourself a little bit like harder because if not you you are just practicing and and if you are just doing the same thing easy stuff practicing you'll never improve so yeah i'm just that's justifying that i'm doing this <laughs> difficult thing that i'm doing here drawing figures that i'm really bad at so next time if you feel like you're kind of like um uh, having a uh, you know your 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 skills uh it's stagnant um maybe try to do something difficult uh, and and don't expect too much um yeah but of course try your best to to do good things so <laughs> okay right so now I'm gonna do his little do his face it's diff this is the difficult part because I cannot like draw him looking odd or weird. I will get a lot of uh, a lot of people kill me. His fans will kill me. I don't think they watch. I don't know. Is Jamie? Are you? Uh, do you? Are you into into Yuzuru? <laughs> I hope you're not, because <laughs> he might turn up looking um hideous. Okay. Uh, okay. The problem is, uh, my hands are kind of not too close to his. Like, if you look at the picture, his the hands are kind of close to his face. Right, but I draw his hand a little bit further away, so I, I have to draw his uh, face. Nancy says, if you practice it, you eventually get it right. Try, try, try again. Yay! Yes, that is a good uh, advice. Yes, so we always have to, uh, you know, do this. Um, there's always this thing about you know trying very hard to trying, uh, giving yourself a chance, uh, to to do it as a challenge. And of course, after that, after that challenge, try to think about you know how you can uh, do more uh, every time, next time, and uh, hopefully get better. You know, oh my God, this is <laughs> ah the nose is so tough to do. It's gonna not look nothing like him. This this is difficult. So as you guys know, I do portraits. Um, like every every once a month or so, uh, on a live stream like this, and I always I always trace because I'm really bad, um, at drawing, uh, sketching. So I'm sketching today, yeah, because I I realize my um sketchbook is really small and there isn't a lot of things I can do with it. Like I can't really do, um, uh, the full you know the full size um things that we do. The, the watercolor sketches that I normally have, have been doing. So I I think if I were to draw three person, uh don't know how that's gonna happen. Oh my god, it doesn't look like him at all. <laughs> this is so tough. Don't you guys feel like you, you want <laughs> like this? <laughs> ah top of your line is eyes, bottom of your line is nose. 
top of ear line top of ear line is eyes bottom of ear line is nose okay okay uh, i see oh he's amazing he's getting too but it's getting old for skating yeah probably that's why he missed um, a few of his uh, jumps yeah which is kind of stress like kind of sad for for skaters you know you know, unlike um Unlike badminton players, I think even basketball players, um, or like maybe weightlifters, you can actually, you know, they, they have a kind of a longer life, like shell life, like, yeah, like for, for skaters, they, after a certain age, they, they kind of, um, yeah, they can't, they can't continue doing it anymore. Okay, so the mouth is so difficult to do. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Even a nose, like so tough. This one looks. I think the mouth is a little bit too big. There's no way he's gonna look good at all. Like I'm trying my best. It's still looking so bad. <laughs> oh my god! I should try to like trace his portrait uh, one day yeah, maybe that that might that might kind of work okay I'm trying my best doesn't look like him <laughs> let's try Camilla 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 okay it's difficult <laughs> especially the expression is so difficult let me just change to that one okay let me change it brows Okay, done. Okay, so this is our little Camilla. I haven't done like haven't done her face, her expression yet. We could actually do this later, but she has such small features. Looking really really sad here. Like she's kind of enjoying and but yet still like I don't know. This is tough. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel like giving up. <laughs> the face is so difficult to draw. Is it because it's too small? Is it too small? Oh my god, this is so tough. Why did I do this? Why? You feel like they like are trying to do something that is beyond your capability. I feel like that right now. Okay, that's always the first time. I'll try my best. Now, people, you're new to my channel. Uh, you will realize that I always complain. <laughs> I whine a lot when I draw, especially like when I think it's difficult. Like I keep whining, so people who have been listen watching me draw would actually been would have heard me whine <laughs> all the time. <laughs> oh, this is tough. This is worse. Can someone try this too? And if you manage to make it look not so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> ah, people aren't a general genre either. Yesterday I attempted drawing a baby portrait from a box ad. It ended up looking at teenager. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not like you draw a little baby and, and she ended up looking like a old person. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't give up. <laughs> I <laughs> just look like she's sleeping. She like some fairy godmother or something. Just <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I think I think it should be closer. Okay, let me raise this a little bit. Oh my god. I probably um have easier time drawing poo. We need a poo and bing duan duan. Okay. I have a f I have a few friends who are really good at drawing portraits. I really wonder how 
they do it. You know, it seems like their hands and their eyes are kind of connected to each other, to, to, to connect it. So, you know, they, they, they kind of know like where to draw. Uh, yeah. Now she is looking even worse. Maybe I should it's actually not. This is odd. <laughs> okay. Maybe better? I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. Maybe with the um, ink and wash that might look better. So this is as much as I can do. I think she. Ah, uh, okay. Part of fun is to draw these people differently. Would have been boring if it looks the same. <laughs> like, I, you know, if, if I were to paint, draw it properly, like, as good as everyone else, as the photograph, then this would actually look like, um, I'm a computer. Maybe a computer can paint like that. I don't know, can draw like this. No, I, I don't know. This is, this is, this is with the pencil sketch. I think kids. It's okay, right? This one looks like a head is a bit small. Like the body looks kind of too big. Like this part looks kind of chunky. Right, let me just kind of look at it a little bit. Yeah, this part this part looks a bit chunky. So I mean kind of like let me let me cut it off a bit. Cut off. She's not that fat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this part looks kind of funny. Okay. She's not that fat, so I'm just gonna cut it off a little bit here. And um This is gonna be just you know, if it didn't turn out well, I'm just gonna say that this is a um uh, portrait uh just skaters, nameless skaters. If they look any um when near, I would just say, yeah, this is Nathan, this is Camila, this is Yusufu. <laughs> okay, okay. So now I, I think I am kind of happy. Oh, wait, let's draw a pool bear somewhere. Oh, let's have a pool bear. Pool bear. Pool. We need a pool. We need a pool. We need. We need the pool. It has to be like a car, little uh, soft toy. We need a pool soft toy. Delete soft toy. Yeah. It's like I have to. Ah, oh, so cute. Winnie is just so happy. Oh, this is really cute. Like this one. Super soft. Ah, oh, this is cute. Should draw one like that's looking at him, maybe. <laughs> him looking at Winnie. Hmm. This is cute. This is cute. This one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's draw a little Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Oh, uh, should I draw him looking back? How about I draw him like that? Does it look like Winnie the Pooh? Like looking at him. Like little Winnie the Pooh here. Oh, that. Let me draw him. Yeah. Stay. Stay. Okay. Can you guys see? Let me turn. Okay. Winnie the Pooh. This one. Sitting here. But his Winnie the Pooh is the one that's lying down. Let me look for a lying of Winnie the Pooh that's like kind of resting. Um, let me put soft toy lying down. Lying down. Delete. Pony lying down. So, hmm. Oh, this is cute. Oh, there you go. Okay. Images. Oh, so cute. Oh. Oh. This looks weird. I'm spending a lot of time looking for Winnie the Pooh. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, this is so cute. This is cute. Oh, this is the best. This one? This one. <laughs> Oops. Okay. 
sorry. Spending a lot of time looking for Winnie the Pooh. More time looking for Winnie the Pooh than... Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is the cutest. Oh, oh, this is so cute. Ah, oh, this one. Sorry. This one looks really cute. Oh, so cute. How many, how many times have you heard me saying cute? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to looking for one that looks kind of okay. I guess this one looks fine. Yeah, alright. Just gonna draw a little Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh shouldn't be that difficult to draw. I try my best. Little ears. Some little ears. Some little nose. Bear shouldn't be that difficult. Yes, the look. Yeah. You know, the thing about Winnie is the color. So if I get the color right, yeah, people will know this is me, the pool. <laughs> Big one. Yeah, Winnie the pool is so cute, right? Like, oh, the cutest thing ever. But Winnie is. Kind of sad, like, have you seen, like, they're saying, someone said, like, Winnie the Pooh represents, like, um, I don't know, is it gluttony? No, 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 no. Oh, do you have any Pooh Bears, or have your four-legged darlings claimed them? No, I have, I do not have one. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh is so cute, why don't I have one? I don't know, I don't have one. I've never been obsessed with it before. Uh, I don't think I have one. My 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 little ones, my little doggies love um, weird stuff as well. I oh yeah, my hero has a has a soft toy, um, has a little brown, little blue, little gray there, that is kind of like um balding. <laughs> okay, now I will draw a little pink duan duan. Oh, pink duan duan is the name is super cute. Okay, um, can I draw him skating on Nathan's hand? Should I? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, Winnie is the cutest. Uh, so anyway, uh, I I read um someone someone co some comment. Uh, I don't know if it's a book or something. Um, about the characters in uh Winnie the Pooh, that they actually represent uh the um different um psychiatric problems that people are having. So they're saying like your represents like um depression and I don't know what I don't know what Pooh has or they think he has I think that one is easier to draw right yeah I know Donkey Eeyore has has depression the rest I know Tigger has ADHD right I don't know about the rest I don't know about Pooh yeah so this is little um do they have different names like the skating one is this copying Don one as well <laughs> I used to have a do I? Do I have a set of ten? Do I? Oh you mean the um uh, Oh wait yes I remember like uh McDonald's McDonald's used to have um these um uh, figurings like cute soft toys so they had like um Hello Kitties and everything so there was uh once they released uh, the Wee the Pools and they had they had different themes I remember um oops i forgot okay sorry i don't even know where they are do they still have it <laughs> we the pool looks here hilarious on his hands that's being done so this is the this is the mascot so this is a little mascot um for for the um olympics and his car he has some really weird names so i just drew him on the hand i think it's kind of funny and then we have little pool over here so yeah, I hope this is uh, gonna... I haven't even painted yet. Uh, what time is it? I have 30 minutes. Gosh. Ah, can I even do this? I'll try. I'm not even sure if we'll actually paint this. Um, I'll try. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the, the ink. So the most important thing actually is um, getting the looks, right? Drawing it properly. Getting him to look properly. To look um this is stressful okay i don't know why like i always start with the, the eyebrow 
I think this pot is kind of higher, right? So I'm just gonna... I love his hair. It's like the very carefree and... You know, he, he's just so flamboyant. Like the way he does... Uh, Maiden does the skating. Like the way he skates, it's just so flamboyant. And so enjoyable. It just make, like puts a smile on your face. And every time he like... You know, he, he managed to do... Um, things that he uh, the, the moves like the um, what he's supposed to do he's just so aesthetic about it and it's very contagious so it's kind of a joy to watch watch him very different from Yuzuru very very different the way he, he skates you know I, I think he looks a bit like um, who's that uh, Dracula <laughs> kind of uh, apparently, oh really? Pool, pool is ADD. Oh, no worry, no worry, A. Eh? <laughs> oh, ADD, ADD what does ADD mean? ADHD? Really? I thought it's Tigger that has got ADD. Uh, what does ADD mean? ADD? Pool. Wait, wait, wait. Let me find this. I want to find it. Hmm. Weenie, the poo, poo. Oh. Hmm. Oh, what's ADD? On the poo pathology pathology tests. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so Tigger is ADHD, Rabbit is OCD, Rule has autism, ER was depression, <gasps> Christopher Robin was, was schizophrenia. Hmm. Oh, he has ADHD, really? No, they said, oh, no, no, they said, like, um, someone, someone else said, like, um, Winnie the Pooh has eating disorder. Hmm, that's interesting. I see, okay, okay. He, I think a lot of the, um, um, Zhu Zhu Han uh, mentioned about uh, Nathan, right, Nathan? So I think um, a lot of, uh, I noticed, you know, um, a lot of videos that a lot of these um, skaters, they they kind of know, I think they are probably very good dancers at, at, as well. Like they could do all these little spins, like like all these spins um, without the skates. I think I've seen um, Camilla's video where she actually uh, could, skate like with the uh, rollerblades um, and she could do all these jumps and spins and everything in it so they are just so amazing these amazing amazing athletes and i am here trying to make them look odd oh man okay i'm just hopefully yeah i think if you want to do a, a career Draw, drawing you really need space like you need to allocate a lot of space for it like you need a big piece of work um, a piece uh, space for you to put draw or the paint painting to work so you see now I'm still kind of slowly ah this is really bad Okay, he doesn't look <laughs> like him at all. Nancy, oh, you didn't know all this stuff. Must be something new. Tigger bouncing off the wall. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I think it's kind of a yeah, it's kind of a new thing that um, thing. If you if you Google it, yeah, it is it kind of spoils your childhood kind of thing, right? Like you did. How how would you know like that 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 actually um. I think it's probably someone's interpretation. Yeah. I don't think I don't think the author had like intended for the 
for the um, characters to be like that. Yeah, someone might have interpreted it that way, and yeah, and then it kind of stick with it. Like people kind of think that it's a cool idea. Or someone had this thing about it, and yeah. Don't think it's official though. I'm sorry, it looks kind of weird. I'm trying my best to make him not look weird. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. So sorry. Okay, the problem with this is I'm not sure how I'm going to end this down. <laughs> if they think Christopher Robin has schizophrenia, what do they think of Kelvin of Kelvin and Hobbes has? <laughs> Probably the same. <laughs> Even worse. Because ap apparently um, Hobbes is a soft toy, right? Yeah. Like, talking about characters i my favorite when i was young um i really love um, garfield because he's just so lazy and he gets away with being lazy i think that's really really cool uh, yeah but that was was really really young and he's sarcastic and he always bullies odin Odin, the poor yellow dog that, that is always so nice and so friendly. Oh, I think this this hand is not too bad. Like, I think this hand is kind of okay. Wait. <laughs> Screwing people's mind. Oops. Oh, we can watch the movie Goodbye, Christopher Robbins. It's about the writer and his son inspired character. Oh, is there such a movie? No, I've not heard of that movie before. But it'd be kind of interesting to actually see, um, yeah, to, to, to kind of know, like try to gain a little bit more knowledge about the whole thing. About uh, you know, the story and the people, uh, the author. Bing Don Don, this is little Bing Don Don here. He he's kind of um like a futuristic bear panda. Very very adorable. I don't even think it's available in Singapore. So, um, Zhu Huan, if you manage to find it, please buy it. Okay. And um. Is it a soft toy that they actually sell, or or is it a like a little plastic thing? You know? Look at his cute little face. Uh, look at that, super cute, beauty. I think this is probably the closest thing I actually draw. Oh, you're gonna ask people where you can get it. I've seen videos of people actually going, um, queuing up for it, and they spend like two hours in the snow. I think what they, they said something like four hours in the snow or something. This is just... Uh, I feel like um, what the RGS Pro had said about the, um, you know, when we had, when we were dating, uh, we, he had to he had to queue up for me the pool soft toy so it's gonna be something like that I think so this is Camilla so I don't know how I will make her look oh, good I'm trying my best Angles a bit off, okay. Her neck is kind of too long and thick. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, her face is a little bit too small.
tough. This is one of the toughest. This is tough. I think this, uh, uh, um, because I think she's very pretty, like she's a beautiful girl, it's very difficult to make her look. <laughs> what? Oh, Zhu Huan says it's a soft toy inside a plastic casing, like he's fend fending off COVID. Oh, that's so cute! How did they do that? Like they stuffed a cute soft toy in a in a casing. Oh, I, I wanna. I, I I feel like I want it too. <laughs> That is so cute. So can you actually get him out from there? Can you get the Bing Duan Duan out from his uh, um, casing? You should be, right? actually purple but I didn't manage to <laughs> get it done in purple. Her face is so odd. I'm sorry Camilla. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah history has uh yeah, yeah. I it it's happening again. Like me um <laughs> disfiguring people. <laughs> this felt like you know when I do this it felt like I'm disfiguring like good looking people i feel bad like that that last happened um yeah like when i did uh, i think it was f i think i'm so sorry like i haven't even painted yet but the ink and wash should be quite fast i believe yeah it's a lot about uh, the drawing part the thing about ink and wash is that the technique uh the painting is not that difficult because all that has been already done um, by, by your drawing. So all you need to do is to just make sure that when you color, you paint, the color is, is there. Right? You, you put the color in the right place and you don't really need to think too much because everything would have been kind of uh, the, you know, the dark areas and uh, the stuff that you need to take note of is also this is a difficult part. Okay. Try my best here. I will find out if I get my hands on one huh? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good for you. At least you have the at least you, you are able to get like one. I wonder if people like buy it and they sell it online to to other to people from other countries. Can you sell me one? <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be really expensive if 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 you yeah if you get it. If if you sell it online. You probably sell it for a few hundred dollars or something. You know in Singapore we have this really bad um habit. People like to resell stuff at a higher price. And people buy so it's just I don't know why people do that. Like um, McDonald's just came came up with some uh, pouch, uh, and they are selling it. Like McDonald's selling it at like um, about I think it was like twenty dollars or something. So these people who get the first batch of it, like started selling it online, for like thirty over dollars. Like they flip it, they try to flip it, but then. You know, they, it turned out that it's not really like a uh, limited edition thing. So it didn't really take off. So I don't know if they managed to sell any at that price. Yeah. But I don't think they, I think they, the sale is over. Like they don't sell that anymore. So maybe these people are kind of making a killing for it. Oh, the ice skating shoes are so cool. Like there's so much details. I wonder how you guys like wear it. Like this is kind of difficult. Is that the one in Elvin's video he painted on one? Mm, is it the, the... Yeah, could be. Is it the, the, the yellow colour one? Or is it the black colour one that he has? I have the yellow colour one. I think the yellow colour one is really nice. Okay, now to the... <laughs> ah, 
Oh no, I, I'm supposed to. Okay, I'll see how I'll do that. I see how I can kind of uh, do a little bit overlap. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll draw his face first. He has this classic, like, um, Japanese idol look. Like, very soft, uh, feminine look. Try my best. Draw yes. I'm really bad at it. I don't know how. Like, you know, I always say, right, I always tell everyone, like, if your sketch looks good, right, your drawing will, will be, like, kind of half done, like, kind of 50% uh, um, completed. So, t <laughs> I don't know about this one that I have here. Like, my God, <laughs> look at that face. Oh, my God. Oh, it's yellow and black. You said the black was sold out. Here in London, lots of people sell things online and show it in good condition, but when it arrives, it's broken. Oh no, that is horrible. Why do they do that? That is really bad. I can't, I cannot, I cannot imagine why people do that. Um, but we do have people here who, um, uh, I think most people are actually okay. Like, I have not come across anyone who sell me bad stuff or, you know, things that are really really um, horrible so far all my transactions are pretty pretty okay so I'm, I'm quite happy I think I'm pretty lucky when it comes to you know buying things online yeah. but the issue is people flipping stuff that you know yeah and they you know I, I mean if they if they really like it and they buy it I think it's fine but they are doing it because they want to earn money from it um, I think that's just that is it's kind of feels like they are kind of depriving people, like people who really want stuff, you know, from being able to get it. <laughs> oh my gosh, my Yuzu is just so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah. Should I give up? <laughs> like, should I give up trying to do this again? Like, this is kind of making things difficult for myself. Like, so, oh my god, look at the nose. Oh gosh. <laughs> ah. And the nose is a little bit too big, eh? I'm trying my best. I'm so sorry. If you guys are hoping to see like some kind of a, like I'm um, some kind of a miracle, like a, a someone who can. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I should draw him. Um, to make the make up, make this make make up for <laughs> for his fans. I should draw him next week instead of the opera singer, right? I think I should. <laughs> I should trace him properly and draw him properly next week. Wow, I'm gonna get killed, like, stabbed. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not a very famous person. <laughs> okay. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I will still try my best to do this. <laughs> I'm really not fitted to uh, do to draw people. <laughs> no, he's trying. <laughs> 
he struggled with the opera singer and he had us to try us. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I look at the <laughs> This is <laughs> These two faces are Oh my god. <laughs> mm. I will have a good laugh. I think people who uh, I'm gonna post this on Instagram and uh, people are gonna have a good laugh at it. They're like, what? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. I think sometimes, you know, it's good to um, uh, encourage, show people your w- horrible work. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes someone you know, re- needs that kind of encouragement because um, maybe they are also in the same situation and they need a little bit of a humor to kind of uh, go about their day and uh, accept uh, the, um, to, 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 to try again, you know, to, yeah, okay, so I'm not giving up. Right, I think I'm okay with the the gesture. I think the gesture is fine. The face is horrible, but the gesture is okay. What? Why? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish up with the uh, we need a pool before I do the um. Uh, where's we? We. I'm gonna have Winnie in there and then I'm um, going to ink and wash this. The ink and wash will be pretty fast. Pretty, pretty fast. Little poo hand. Little poo. Poo so cute. Little eyebrow, oh so cute. Little eyes, cute little round button eyes and little nose. I think this is like the cutest thing ever. See, the characters are so cute. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> I know, right? Ah, this is horrible. Okay, wait, I forgot the painting. <laughs> let me let me finish this up. Let me just finish up this part with the painting. You know, I when I was doing this, I realized that it's kind of like a brush stroke with a flat brush. This is uh, the font for the painting. I'm gonna quickly ink and wash this. I'm so sorry you guys like <laughs> came to learn something from me, but uh, <laughs> uh, mm. I hope you guys had a good laugh though. Like Oh am I the only one laughing at myself? Okay. Yeah, something like this. This little like the um, ribbon. I kinda think fonts are kind of fun to play with. <laughs> Yeah, the plushies down, like, oh, the plushies are really cool, but the people, mm, well. <laughs> I should draw, like, more plushies. I'm really good at drawing other stuff. Oh, they, actually, the rings are kind of difficult to draw. Hmm, let's see if I can get this right. This is the blue one, and then we have the yellow. Just gonna stop. Just gonna go over. Right. Okay. This is over. This way. Ugh. This 
this is gonna be the green okay the rings are difficult if you're not in the right mindset you're gonna like you're gonna oh my god like here make a little bit of a mistake okay i've got it they come interlink right they come interlink okay yay i can start painting right now but um hmm nathan looks really weird here i don't know if i should do something about it maybe i'll just draw like a kind of a square or something should i just yeah maybe i should just finish up with these um attire here right maybe i'll just paint it here black or something i don't know we'll see how that goes okay now let's erase this and i'm gonna ink and wash wow i try my best okay so the most important thing about like doing anything is you try your best yeah if you have try your best it's okay this is my best today spend a lot of time trying to get these figures right you know i could have actually spent less time sketching because in the end um yeah in the end <laughs> okay uh i have not been bringing out my oh there you go yes um ten wins so ten wins out and we got him out of there Sorry for the sound, um, he's a vacuum. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting. Oh no, I'm left with one minute. I think I can try to finish this. Don't worry about it. I will try to finish. I'll get this done, definitely. Before... Wait, how come it's looking like this? Yeah. Ah, okay, better. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting. Should be quite fast. Um... It's an ink and wash, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, let's go. Okay. Go, go. So you guys can't see my paint. Um, should I maybe push this over? Maybe I'll just make the... Um, reference photograph disappear so that you guys can see where is this uh, there there okay that was good got it okay i'm gonna start painting right now mm, okay i'm getting a lot of weird stuff oh it's leaking over here got it okay so i'm gonna go straight because you know our cmyk palette has black so i'm just gonna go ahead and use black on the pus that had black in it, like the hair, right? Thank God for all that black, because I cannot imagine. How come I feel like he looks like the, you know, the Japanese uh, Yokoza looking guy? Like, doesn't even look like... Okay, now I'm, I'm going to just paint the flesh color, um, the um, skin tone with with the lemon yellow and the opera okay, a little bit more and only a bit of blue so i'm using manganese Ooh, it's looking so green mm, i end up make looking more brown so i'm just gonna kind of dilute it a little bit now it's looking a little bit too brown more red so let's just get this really really diluted okay oh no i'm not using my glass um, palette i'm using i'm using a, a just a a palette that is um just a plastic palette oh the blue is crazy like it's it goes down like so strong it's looking a bit green okay, i'm just gonna kind of take it off so the good thing or bad thing about this paper here is that it's easy to lift colors out super easy to lift colors out so I, I think for now this is a good thing because that means if 
uh, I made a mistake anywhere, I could just lift it off, which is really good. Okay, so now I think it's I, it needs a bit of red, a little bit more red, so I can pass off his face probably here. Yeah. The glass mixing palette is really good. Um, I think I've used it, uh, and it's really easy to clean off, so I really quite like it. And then I'm gonna try to mix like a red. I don't know how that's possible. I think I did kind of do it like that time. Maybe I need more red. It's kind of a paint and orangey red color for his attire. So, do you know that the um, Opera Pink is actually granulating, which is very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit. So the good thing about using um, this paper is, as I said, easy lift, easily liftable. And it has got very interesting texture. So this paper has very interesting texture. Like allows the texture to kind of appear, and I, I kind of like it in that way. Oh, that's really weird. Okay. You know, like look, look. If I don't like this one, right, I could just add a bit of water, and I could just kind of quickly just lift this off. Yeah, simple. Then I'm just going to do a purple, like a purple black. Uh, hematite. This is uh, the black is a hematite color, so I'm just gonna. Can you see? Like I mix the hematite with the purple that I mix with the, using the manganese blue and the opera pink, right? Yeah, it granulates. So it, apparently, it granulates. The opera pink granulates. Um, when I when I was swatching the Hobain watercolor, um, I I gone I I. I thought it was really interesting that it, it actually granulates. Um, it's it's in the uh, official, uh, in the Opera Pink, but that is that is Hobine's version. I'm not sure about other other brands if the other brands are also like that, but should be. I I think, yeah, it's kind of the, um, the property of, of probably all the uh, pigments. I don't think it's unique to 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 that that one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here later on is so I'm just gonna dot dot in some of these uh, colors, uh, the white, because, as you know, um, there is a little bit of a pattern pattern here, um, like the little stars I think, like little bursts of uh, white sparks and stuff. So I'm gonna use the white pen to do it, and then uh, yeah, let's continue. So I'm just thinking whether I should like kind of unite this with a with a blue a blue color because they are all actually skating on a blue background. So yeah, I'm still thinking about it. I might. Okay. Then we have poor Camille, who I kind of disfigured. Sorry. There's no way I can make the very nice uh, skin tone. Um, yeah, the skin tone looks really odd uh, with this palette. It's interesting, um, but it's just a little bit different from what we kind of expect. So this is the skin tone that I managed to get. Um, in fact, I just mix all the colors together to get this to get the skin tone. Okay. Sorry, girl. You're looking so weird. I will fix you. I'll fix you later. I try. There's no way I can fix uh, Yuzuru. I'm sorry. He will not be fixed. I can't, can't do anything. Which is not too bad, right? This one. the uh, This color. The mixture of these uh, three giving us this skin tone color. It's not that bad. So anyway, this sketchbook is actually more a uh, travel sketchbook. So I think it's actually good for urban sketching. Okay, now I'm going to do a purple color. 
purple. So you see what I mean by easy to do ink and wash, right? It's pretty easy to do an ink and wash. So just gonna quickly uh, put in, wow, look at that color. I think the, the granulation is just awesome. Beautiful uh, granulation. So this is the two, and then I could actually uh, kind of mix a darker color and just uh, put it over here and um, here as well because her these gloves that they actually have, like all of them have some kind of wear, use some kind of glove. Okay, and this one, I might put a bit of the hematite because it's really dark. Okay, so we have that here. Let's put a little bit for her hair as well. Okay. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> okay, and then uh, about here, then we have. I feel like I'm doing an urban sketch. This looks more like an urban sketch. Okay. The granulation is just crazy. Like this one? I don't know if you guys are into this kind of a granulation. is a little bit odd this part so I might just take it out <laughs> which is pretty easy so it's very easily I could just take it off I just replace it okay, try to make it as dark as I can more concentrated um, opera okay so this paper that I'm using is Escoda um, but it is easy to lift, so the colors are super easy to get out from. It's pretty! Yeah, it is, right? So the manganese and the uh, opera pink looks really, really nice. Like, they just separates out very, very easily. So that's one, I think one good thing about this palette is, is these uh, very special colors that we put together. And it, they kind of look like they, uh, you get really nice separation. So now I'm trying to add in a little bit of shadow so that we, we get like, you know, it, it does look like a person, like a, um, yeah, to, to increase that, to make it a little bit more realistic. We try, we try, I try. <laughs> okay, and then we have this part here. So I might actually add some wash around. I don't know what I'm going to do because these are really, really colorful. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. E yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. As I am painting, I'm still thinking about what I can do. And here, the granulation is pretty nice. So later on, we'll see how how we're gonna do it. Okay. Oh, it's hmm. Surus ten. Poor guy. I feel bad. <laughs> like same um as in in Nathan, I use the hematite genuine for his hair it's looking very odd <laughs> ah, this is horrible I am quite surprised I could actually do a skin tone with this this tree the three colors together Not all too bad. It's actually quite a nice steam tone color. And then the glove over here. And then we have a little bit like like this. this is kind of the skin color, right? And then we have the um, this part here as well, the skin. And then yeah, blue. So I'm just gonna reuse a bit of that purple and I'm just gonna go over. And we have a bit of the manganese. Okay, I'm just gonna go over like that. Pretty effective. Uh, the um, granulation is just very 
nice, like beautiful. We have a bit of the pematite here. He's wearing some kind of a necklace thing, I think. And there's some texture. And then more of that dark blue colour over here. And then that manganese. Yeah. So this is why I think he's like a oh sorry you can't see this. Yeah. This is what I call like a, a an urban sketch. Like the kind of thing that happens in an urban sketching. It's, um, how we actually do it. Okay, I'm gonna just paint his lips. I try. I'm gonna have a bit of shadow. He's looking really sick though. Now he's looking sick. <laughs> so I realized that uh, this one, I need to kind of lift it off because it's not exactly black. I need to leave this lift this up. Okay. Only this part here is dark. The bottom part here is dark. This part is the skin tone. And uh, we have a bit of uh, shadow. Oh, I think I know what's wrong with Yuzu. Like his face is a bit too short. Like his chin is a bit too short. It, it could have been longer. Yeah. No, I think I have a problem. Like I'm always kind of trying to uh, paint faster, but I don't uh, necessarily make sure necessarily make sure that I get things down properly before before that, which is why my person, my people, always look kind of odd. Okay, because I didn't kind of make sure that I get them right. Sorry, I can't <laughs> because he felt twice. I feel sick. Okay, <laughs> he, he probably disfigured himself and on, uh, as as he fell. Okay, now we're gonna use a super bright lemon yellow on Pusang. Pusang is yellow, so Pusang's gonna be here. Yeah, Pusang's the easiest to do, and of course we have him. This bright red. Bright red pants. It's bright red pants. Okay. It's not too bad, right? The bright red. I probably want to add a little bit more here. Yeah. Okay. It's not that bad. Quite like. Quite like the uh, how the colors kind of interact to to give you the um. Yo, oh, Pink Don Don. What's Pink Don Don's color? Oh, it's blue. He doesn't also know the drill. He's right, correct color. It's just a little blue here. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, let us know if you manage to get it. Okay, I I think it would be interesting to know if actually there's a soft toy in there. And if you have to uh, queue up, please. Just go, okay. <laughs> maybe you can get it sent to you, uh, like online. Maybe they will send it to you online. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like kind of wash this later on. Yes, 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 yes. Haze, Haze Indigo. So Haze Indigo is uh, upcoming. Like I am, um, going. I'm swatching and reviewing Haze Indigo. Um, the video is up now. Um, it's up at uh, 12.45 so if you guys uh, after this you can go and watch it ah okay I can't really lift this up so I'm just gonna leave it there so okay I'm not sure if I should paint the background no I don't think I should mm -hmm. anyone want to uh, give me a suggestion I'm looking for advice should I paint some kind of background if I should, you press, you just type 1, okay? If it's, uh, it's a no, you can press, just type 2. But anyway, uh, I think I need to paint the rings first. Wow, 
one? I should. Okay, alrighty. I'll do it. Okay. Black. I think we have all the colors. This is so amazing. Like, um, that Olympic just came up. And then we have all the colors that we need to paint the rings. Very nice. Oh, one, one, two, one. Okay, we have a lot of ones. So I'm just going to do it. I am going to paint some backgrounds. We'll see if it works. Okay, if not, it's okay. You know, we, we did, we tried. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's just get a nice green color. Manganese blue is just pretty amazing. It's a very amazing color. So if you manage to get your hands on manganese blue, yeah, you will enjoy it. It's so strong and it's granulating. I don't know why they don't make it anymore. But I heard that the, um, uh, what do you call that? The process of making it is very polluting. So people don't do that. Okay, I'm going to do a like quick blue color. So I'm just going to try to get my tea. Um, manganese blue is contaminating my palette so I'm just gonna take out a lot of that um, from the palette. I think I left it to kind of sit. So. Okay, right. Mm. The Beijing 2022 should have something on. So I, I'm not sure if by doing this um, I might actually Maybe I can have a bit of black here. Okay, I'm just gonna use a bit of the hammer type here. Yeah, like 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 that because it's kind of like the bottom of the second part of of Nathan. So I'm just going to do that. guys can see and I'm just gonna continue with that blue the black that joins the blue okay. perhaps I'll just add a bit of the you know what kind of bleeds the color through so that it shows that they're all like kind of related Kind of, and then we have a bit of black here because it's yeah. I thought we can't be really careful with. <laughs> I'm not very careful with the colors sometimes. The good thing about this paper, it's it's very easy to live, so it's very easy to do soft edges. So there's no need to worry if you kind of mess up. Because you will not mess up this paper. Okay. Just having a bit of that yellow come up here. And you can actually, if you are not happy with this color, you could just, you know, do this. I haven't actually um, done anything to her face, like her face. Okay. So, yeah, let's give her some glow. Okay, so otherwise it's gonna look like a guy. Like now she looks a little bit like a guy. So I'm just gonna add a bit of uh, makeup on her. Probably less. This is fine. Ooh, it's so fun. Looks like a girl now, right? <laughs> but just now it doesn't look like a girl at all. So I'm just gonna add a bit of that red over here as well. And I think she has wearing some like 
kind of a purple eyeshadow. Yeah, that's the best I can do, I think. Okay, and then lips. Huh. I tried my best. <laughs> she doesn't look. Oops. She doesn't look. <laughs> she looks okay. Yeah. Okay, next. I'm just going to. Kind of unify this part, like trying to just paint that manganese blue down there. Okay. Actually, it could have been, I could have actually done this before I painted the uh, rings. But it's okay. Easily fixed. Manganese blue is just so pretty. Okay, then I'm going to just kind of uh, join join the by adding the purple okay no 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 it should be a blue sorry darker blue like a Hmm. And uh, just a little bit here, so it does not like kind of end abruptly. Okay. Of course, you had a little pool. Maybe I could actually make it kind of darker, the back bottom here or something. This part. I don't even know whether I'll post this on Instagram. <laughs> ah, okay. I think this is what I've had. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys um are looking for something a little bit more. Wait. Hmm. Oh, it's here. Okay. Kind of just move this up a little so that you guys can see the final piece. This is my final work. Final piece. And um, yeah. I am... I don't know about this, but it's a kind of an interesting way to practice drawing people and figures and um, and this is sketchy. So I'm sorry about the face, about the resemblance. It doesn't resemble at all. Yeah, but uh, it's, uh, it's good fun. Lah. I hope you guys had fun also watching me, hearing me uh, complain and whine. And <laughs> yeah, the colors are really nice, I must say. And uh, this paper does give a uh, very nice um, texture as well. It's, it's, I mean, not everyone, not everybody will actually like this color, this, this paper. Um, because it's, it's very, can you see it's, it, it, it's firstly easy to, to lift off. And then um, 
the, the, the texture, you get this kind of issued problem. Some people may not like it. Like I'm actually okay with it, but I think I'm def I think definitely there are people who wouldn't like it. So um, yeah, I when I review this paper again, uh, when I would actually uh, you know provide more information because I normally will test out you know how I test out paper right. If you guys have watched my videos, you actually know it. You like it? Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, A. Thank you so much. <laughs> you love Winnie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I think Winnie looks really nice. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for um, finding the uh, good, uh, good part of the sketch. I'm sorry I couldn't uh, do justice to the people, um, the um, athletes. Um, yeah, cool. So, yay. Thanks. Thank that I'm so happy that you guys kind of enjoy this. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you, A. Thank you, Tzu Huan. Thanks. Um, yeah, dear JS Pro has gone to sleep. <laughs> Was that a Sakura jelly roll? No, I think I have a few. So just to show you guys, I, this is a um, uniball signal, right? This is angelic color. This is jelly roll, right? Um, this is the signal. The Uniball Signal Broad and this is Signal Signal DX. So I have. Oh, DRGS Pro is not asleep yet. <gasps> really? <gasps> He's waiting for me. Okay. <laughs> They're recognizable. Thank you. So I, I hope that uh, you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, um, yeah, I appreciate you that you liked this video. And um, yeah, I'm on coffee as well. So if you like to support my work, if you like to see more of such uh, live painting, uh, and like to see more limited palette, um, do do come in and um, support me on coffee. Um, or you can also give me a super set, super chat, right? Yeah, it's lit, late. So give me a super chat, and then um, yeah, I I I will be glad and happy um, for for that. Uh, anyway, thank you guys, and I hope to see you guys again next week. And next week will be our um, show and tell. So do submit um, things that you... I uh, do like to see your ice creams. And also, of course, if you like to paint orchids, do do come in with your, your work. And if you like to paint athletes, you like to paint the opera singer or actor, come in and, and, and you know post it on, on in Discord, or you can just email me um, your, your, your submission, okay? Thank you very much. I like. I will yeah, see you guys again next week for the uh, show and tell. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, A. Thanks, Du Juan. Thanks, DRJS Pro. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you.